Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel T-Spot. In this video, episode 6 will make Jamie and Claire lovers really happy because unlike the previous episode, this one is filled with their adventures. I want to start with them first and then focus on the other storylines. If you're ready, let's dive in. The episode starts with William going to Fort Ticonderoga. We see the British have taken over the places expected, and they're trying to settle in. William is trying to find General Simon Fraser, and he learns that Captain Richardson is about to arrive at the fort. He also learns that the British are planning to isolate New England from the colonies. And I can say that he seems quite surprised by this news. Then we see Jamie and the others traveling with their boats, and they finally get to the coast. As Jamie and Claire help people to get off, Claire shares her worries about the people because she doesn't think that they could make it considering their condition. But Jamie thinks that if they move on to their journey with small groups, they will be just fine. Meanwhile, we see the paranoid lady, Mrs. Raven, and she believes that it's a trap set by young Ian and the natives will kill them. As Rachel tells her that everything's okay and she trusts Ian, Mrs. Raven seems absolutely terrified. When she feels a little better, they finally get off the boat together. Good job, Rachel. You did a good job managing that lady. After that, we see them walking in the woods. When they hear some strange noises, they immediately think that they're in danger and there are natives around them. But in fact, these are just the British who are pretending to be natives. As Jamie and Ian decides to deal with them, Claire tries to to lead the rest, but something's wrong because Mrs. Raven is missing. Well, it's Claire and she has a strong spirit, so she decides to go after her. When she finally finds her, we see that Mrs. Raven has completely lost it and she kills herself. As Claire gets near her, she gets kidnapped by a red coat. Again, okay at this point, I should say that I used to enjoy watching those scenes where Claire and Jamie are trying to save one another. But don't you think it's getting a little bit boring? Meanwhile, Jamie and young Ian get rid of the soldiers. And on their way back to the people, Jamie runs into Denzel. He tells Jamie that Mrs. Raven and Claire are missing and I can feel Jamie saying I'm too old for this shit. Just kidding, he would never. So what does he do? Of course, he goes after her. Thanks to young Ian, they see Claire's track near Mrs. Raven's dead body. And Jamie immediately understands that Claire is taken back to the fort. But, well, we have an ally in there, so I know for sure that Claire is safe. In fact, William runs into her and says that he will do his best to help her. Thanks to William, Claire gets the supplies she needs to take care of the injured and sick. Meanwhile, young Ian comes up with a great plan. He says that he can act like a native ally and save Claire. It's too dangerous for Jamie to get in. So this plan is brilliant, and it sounds as safe as it could be. Young Ian gets in and his plan works like a charm. But William sees him and at some point he understands that he's there to save Claire. He gets really angry at Ian, and at first I thought he was going to warn the British. William, this is the man who saved your life, and even though you're not aware of it, he's your cousin. Just let them go. As they ask his help, he seems unlikely to help. But Jamie distracts the soldiers from outside, and they manage to convince him to help him. Since Claire earlier saved Lord John Gray's life and Ian saved William's, he feels responsible to save theirs as well. I mean, he did the right thing, but I would love to see him doing it without all this pressure. Anyways, thank you, William. Do better next time. Jamie and Claire reunite for the millionth time, and they finally rejoin the people they were traveling with. Now that's all for Jamie and Claire. Now it's time to talk about others. We see young Ian and Rachel once again. They are really cute together and they talk about Rolo. As they are petting him, their hands touch each other's and I just love it. I need to see their scenes more because it just gets better and better. I'm telling you, these two will be the best couple in this show. Aside from Jamie and Claire, obviously. As for Mackenzie's, in this episode, we see Roger going to Jimmy's school to complain about the teacher because of what she did to him. It seems like the principal and Roger agree on one thing, the Highland culture should be carried on. So a random visit to school turns into a job opportunity, and Roger gets an offer to be a teacher. Back at Lallybrock, Brie talks about the portal she went through, and she tries to tell how it made her feel. Even though they come up with some theories, I don't think the portal's mystery is fully revealed in this episode, and we need more scenes about it. After that, we see that it's Roger's first day as a teacher, and he shows up with his kilt. He tries to educate the children and parents about the culture, 
and everyone seems to enjoy his teaching. After his class is dismissed, we see Rob Bree's coworker. He goes and talks to Roger, and the weird part is that he has Roger's notebook. Okay, I have bad feelings about this interaction and about Rob. He really gives a bad vibe, and I believe he'll cause trouble for the Mackenzies. What do you think? Later on, Roger is in the kitchen and I can say that he's definitely in a good mood, but he realizes that there's someone out there watching him. Okay, this show turned into a horror show quicker than ever. It was really creepy to realize that someone is watching you while you're minding your own business. Anyways, Roger goes out and chases him, and the famous knuckle of E is finally revealed it's no other than Buck McKenzie. Roger punches him in the face and the episode ends. Overall, I believe this episode was good. I can't believe I'm saying that, and please don't get angry, but I think it would be better if we've seen Claire and Jamie less. I'm only saying this because it's getting repetitive and I hate to see them stuck in similar storylines. What do you think about the episode? What do you think will happen next? Will Roger let Buck go? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.